welcome to the 2022 season. Um, I'm so excited to be here. Uh, thanks to Juice for always recognizing um, our kids and everything that's going on great at GHS. Um, and so I'm here today with one of our seniors and uh, volleyball player. I'll let you go ahead and introduce yourself and what position you play. Hi, I'm Sydney. I'm a senior. Uh, I'm a setter. Uh, yeah. Senior setter and um, not just a senior setter, like a returning all district player, right? And all that. And so, right, returning all district player. And so, one of our team leaders and um, actually here for a couple of reasons. We're going to talk about the season a little bit, but um, our first ever Penny Perkins State Farm player of the week for volleyball congratulations right there um, and uh, and uh, we'll be talking more about that uh, this year we're excited about that award that we're going to get to present um, each week to our very deserving players and so okay let's talk about the season first um, I know right now we're off to a great start as always and so uh, what's our record right now uh... I think like 11 and 8. 11 and 8, and so it's a lot of games in tournaments, and you play a lot of games in um, early in the season and mixing and matching pieces, and so how is that going right now, your your rotations and, and all that, right? Everything keeps changing, but it's only preseason. Yeah. Uh, like a week and a half before district, I think. It's coming soon, yeah. And so... Um, but finding the pieces, mixing the new players and the former players and all that. But um, so far, things are going good. I know we've had a lot of success um, in the volleyball program for the last several seasons. And so we're certainly expecting and looking forward to y'all to keep it going. Um, so where can the fans see us this week? Where are, the, where are the Lady Lions on the court? We have a home game at Commerce on Tuesday, and then we're at Prairie Land on Friday. Okay, at Commerce or are we at home? Here. Okay, we're here versus Commerce um, Tuesday. All right, that's tomorrow, depending on when this show airs. So if it's not tomorrow, then um, I'm going to blame that on Matt. But, uh, yeah, but no, great. Come out, see the Lady Lions. You know their Tuesday, Friday uh, schedule. And then, again, when district starts, that schedule will get um, uh, very regular um, every Tuesday, Friday. And so uh, come out, see them in action. Uh, come out, cheer on the, the Lions and uh, watch our kids play. You know, that's what we love about Greenville, Texas, is that, you know, it's a community. Uh, uh, I've watched y'all play for years, ever since y'all were playing Pee Wee, and so when do you remember, how long have you been playing volleyball? Mm, I think that was probably like seven, like ten years. Wow, okay, so yeah, so you're just right, uh, uh, started with, um, I guess, Greenville Youth Sports, playing here for the City Leagues, okay, and then now, I guess we're, uh, you have club, uh, all those things, who do you play for? Shout out to Allegiant. Thanks for working with our Greenville kids. Um, and so, um, and I know that's it. It takes a lot of work. That's what people don't understand. All of our sports, uh, and these kids don't just show up, and the coaches, you know, they put in a lot of work, um, year-round preparation, playing in fall leagues, playing in spring leagues, playing in the summer. Uh, you know, it really is a commitment, and that's how you become a returning all-district player right there. So, um, all right, well, let's get off of volleyball just for a little bit. It's what I love about this show is uh, they, they let me kind of, uh, you know, get to learn more about our kids here. And so let's share some stuff. Um, favorite class. I'm sure you've probably been on the show before, but um, give a shout out. You got a favorite class or maybe a, a new teacher or something this year? Um, my favorite class is my teacher's aid class. Teacher's aid class. Very important because you get to be a helper, not because it's an easy <clears throat> class. So, yeah. but yeah, who, who are you a teacher's aid for? Miss Austin. Uh, shout out to Miss Austin and Mr. Cronky. Well, look at that. Then those are two great teachers. They do so much with our kids and are at nearly every game. And so shout out to y'all. Thanks for supporting our kids. Um, what about, um, so if the people are out in the community and we're out, where is Sydney out eating? If you're going to go out just with the friends or something and get something, where are we, where are we going to see Sydney? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. So we'll probably see you waiting in line. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm, uh, he'll probably edit that out, but no, great. You make a run for the border. Um, everybody does open late and it's great. Um, if a gong goes off in the middle of the game, you're not going to wander off like on the commercials. I don't know if y'all have seen that. It may be a, too vague of a reference. But it's a Taco Bell thing, right? You know what I'm talking about? No. no, but anyway, so we don't worry about that. We won't lose you right there. Um, okay, college plans. Are you set yet, undecided, or just looking? Uh, just looking. Okay. Um, plan to play in college, hopefully, maybe. Yeah, good, good. I mean, if they... 
If y'all are looking for a great player, I'm telling you right now, the, the, the video doesn't lie. You can watch her in action on film. You can come out and see her. Great player, great team leader. Um, plays several positions. I know you've done some setting, but I thought I saw you taking some swings in the game last week. Is that correct? <laughs> I watched the games. I'm just saying, I saw you. So all around athlete, multi-talented. Um, other sports that you're gonna, gonna definitely be in softball, and so that's uh, what we love. All around great athletes, all around good kids, and so last question, are you a high fiver or a fist bumper? Fist bump. Fist bump, definitely. If you see Sydney out at Taco Bell or anywhere, hey, give her a fist bump, she's a great kid. At Juice, we offer lower average rates than you'll find in the Metroplex. That means you can spend less on utilities and more on living. It means more left in your grocery budget, more money for gas, easier to afford prescriptions, more school supplies, and more family fun. So if you want to pay more for electricity, move to Dallas. If you want to do more living, use Juice. Juice, lower average rates than the Metroplex. Welcome back to Juice and the Coaches Show, and I'm very excited right now to be with a very special guest, and we are just started it, and we are making our first awards this week, but uh, this year we're going to have the Penny Perkins State Farm Player of the Week Awards um, for middle school, ninth grade, JV, all year long, every sport, and so we're getting it started, and uh, you know, just another great supporter of our kids and GISD, and so uh, Ms. Perkins, thank you very much for doing it, and so you know, give a little shout out and just kind of why you wanted to get involved and, and everything. Absolutely. Um, well, you know, motivation. Motivation right. was my, my key for wanting to do this. Yes. Kids, especially starting down seventh grade, eighth grade, just to keep them motivated, keep them in sports, um, keep them wanting to come back, keep them wanting to play in high school. Absolutely. High schoolers wanting to keep them in all the way through their senior year and, and motivating those seniors to keep wanting to play. It is. You know, we talked, I talk with our athletes all the time about, you know, it's so much of an investment and they work nearly year round now in, in all those sports. And so, uh, you know, sometimes more than a pat on the back or a good job, but, you know, to have one of our, uh, you know, one of our local businesses and, and a great supporter of all of the things that our kids do. But, you know, to step up, you know, when I ask, is there anyone that would like to do something and give back and she said look you know I'm gonna give certificates but we want this we want this on their social media on all their all their uh, pages and all the things that they share so you know the kids can take some pride in all the things that they're doing and um, you know thanks for being a part of it and um, you know we're looking forward to it we're gonna um, this is gonna be a year-round year-round thing correct all right and then we're gonna, we're gonna give the little gift certificate but we're gonna do something a little small uh, here's the football on the back it says POTW Player of the Week so that they get some sort of little recognition. Uh, something small, but something that recognizes them. It is. It's something that's really nice, actually. They're, they're very nice, and so that's just an, you know, an excellent thing, but just kind of a good, you know, just a good reminder of them that you know, it is a special thing. They get to be involved in sports and all of our extracurricular activities, and so thanks again for being a part of it and, and helping to recognize and honor these, these kids. Absolutely. Anything, anything to make these kids feel special, which they are. They are special right here, and so is Miss Penny Perkins and State Farm. So thank you for being a part of it, and, and as always, thank you, Juice, for uh, supporting all the things that we have going with our students. Conserving energy is important to us here at Juice. We even pay rebates when you buy energy efficient appliances. Your conservation helps all Juice customers. In the future, we will need to build new electric generators and this can be expensive. And with our population growing, we will need that power. That's why we give rebates for Energy Star appliances. So think about replacing your bulbs with super efficient LED bulbs or adding insulation to your attic. Together, we can help all Juice customers by doing our part. Check out our rebates online and remember, Juice is always ready to serve and assist you in any way we can. Welcome back to Juice and the Coaches Show. And um, again, one of the great organizations that I get to talk to some of their students and um, that participate in the great Friday Night Lights. You know, we talk about uh, the football game is such a great environment because of all the groups that get to come out and perform and, and put on such a great show. And one of them that we all know and love is our Lion Pride Band. And I am here with returning 
drum major, senior, Erilyn Wright. How are you? Welcome to the Juice Show. And um, what family members? Give a shout out to family members out there real quick. Anybody that's going to watch it. This is my first time doing this. So my grandparents are probably watching this. They definitely will. They will definitely watch. And hi, Mom and Dad. And, 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 um, and so, well, let's just jump right into it. And so, um, brand new season. Um, your senior year, and so um, first, how is the show going, and how how is that work in progress so far? Um, the show is coming along very well. Movement one, we're getting it down under the feet and the fingers and the instruments. Uh, the music sounds great. We're still working on the marching. We have we start you know night practices tonight. We're hoping to march the entire opener of movement one this week. And movement one. So how many total movements will will there be in the three total movements? Oh my goodness! And so we're. Again, Dan, now we, you started uh, way before school. How long have y'all been out there uh, practicing already? Our BLT has been here since July 18th. Uh, the whole band's been here since July 25th. Wow, and so all the work that it goes in, no wonder you sound so good. And so, you know, I'm very lucky my office over here in the indoor because guess what I get to hear every morning? Because you're out there really early, I know that, but uh, I get to listen to the band play uh, every morning and practice and all that, so it's really exciting. And, and I hear all the counting and the steps, and I don't know, I don't know how y'all are keeping up with all that. Um, playing the music is hard enough, but then being able to march and then being able, you know, again, but, but I've never seen anybody tripping or running into each other and all that. And so how, you know, is it just from practice or how does everybody get the movements and the, all that thing together? So we start with very simple things, just forward and backwards, learning how to walk in time to a beat that we do with music. And it's just a lot of practice, repetition and multitasking. And a lot of counting, a lot of counting, a lot of melanoma. And I, as I say that right, the thing, what's the making the noise that we're metronome? That's close enough. Bless my heart, football coach. But hey, it was anyway. You know, I, I, I love listening to y'all. Love watching y'all perform. And uh, I'm looking forward to your show and this, uh, you know, your uh, marching show this this uh, fall as well. Um, and so, what I guess you know, I like to kind of talk about how long have you been doing this? I know you've been involved with. Uh, not just the band, but with uh, with the color guard and, and all of this. You've been doing this for how long? Um, so in band, I started in sixth grade playing the clarinet. And uh, this is my second year being a drum major. So I was a drum major last year for the band. Mm -hmm. And then my sister was a member of color guard. So obviously she brought you know, her flags and her rifle home. So I know a lot about what they do. They do a different style of marching than we do. So they work separately on yeah. what they do. And it, just, it all comes together. Yes, that's right. And so. Um, I like to talk about, you know, other things. And so let's jump into, um, other than band, what would be your favorite teacher or your favorite class right now? I'm gonna pull a nerd moment. One of my favorite classes is physics with Coach Hazlitt. Yes, well, you can call it a nerd moment. That's probably gonna be a make a lot of money moment. If you start talking about, I like physics, I didn't really think that was a class. Isn't that a college class or something? Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I was a science teacher, love science. And so uh, with, with uh, who's your teacher again? Coach Hazlitt, shout out to Coach Hazlitt, baseball coach, great physics teacher, um, and so that that's fun. I like it when our students that are in extracurricular activities also give shout outs to high academic classes, and so um, you know, that's what we like. You know, well-rounded kids that that do everything, and so been involved with with band for um, a long time, I know, and and. So what about college plans? Do you have an idea where you want to go or do you want to continue um, with the band? So my dream school right now is Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Daytona Beach, Florida. I want to be an aerospace engineer and their program is really good. Well, see, that sounds exactly what somebody that loves physics would say. And I mean, that's congratulations. I can't wait to see you. I mean, I can't wait. That's, that's outstanding. And uh, you've been successful at everything. And so I can't wait to see it. And you know, they're talking about going to Mars or something. So get in there right now. And, and, and uh, we're looking for a lion in, in outer space. I guarantee it. Um, OK, um, if you're out in the community, or is there a favorite hangout? Or where do you like to go or eat um, in Greenville? In Greenville, probably my favorite place to eat is Bottle Cap. It's just a Bottle. great environment and great food. Bottle Cap Alley, good. Shout out to uh, shout out to Bottle Cap. Thanks. Uh, you know, there's just uh, you know we love to our you know our our, our hometown here, and uh, it's all about our one school environment, all about our lions, and um, and so we're so proud of all of y'all. So um, high five or fist bump? Fist bump for sure. So a great student. 
great kid, great band leader. If you see Senior Erlen right out at Bottle Cap or anywhere, give her a fist bump. Hey, welcome back to The Juice Show, and I'm here with another great member of our Lion Pride Band, another returning drum major, Junior Sebastian Gonzalez. Welcome to The Juice Show, and now this may be your first time with me. No, this is actually my second You were on, okay, you were on the show last year with Mr. Burt, right? Okay, that's exactly right, because, well, when you're a returning drum major, already as just a junior, and so, you know, how does that happen to be, you know, when you're starting out that young to, to already jump in that position? Well, it's, um, it's definitely a great experience. It's very rewarding. And I think, you know, a lot of people might see being young and coming into this position as kind of a disadvantage, but I tried to see it the other way and take it as an advantage. I was able to relate more closely to our newer members. Absolutely. because I had been at the middle school the year before with them. So we kind of already had relationships going there and that really helped me make a deeper impact on them. It really did. And you know, you're, you do a great job out there and all you got to do is let's, just come out to come out to the floor show and listen to everybody cheer when Sebastian comes out. You know, it's just a, another great environment, another uh, great time for the Lion Pride Band to show off all the great things that you do. But it truly is. I talk about it at our football games. Friday night lights. Uh, yeah, I'm the football coach, and I know we're all wanting to win the games and all that. But it's such a great time for everybody to come out and and see all of y'all perform. And so uh, we talked to Erlen a little bit earlier, though. But you know, we talked about your show, and so you know. Uh, how is that going and you know kind of where where do you are you ahead you think are you behind or are we just right on, on working how's that going I think um, I think we're ahead of the game this year um, we, we were definitely making progress from where we were last year um, there's more of a I guess the mindset now is to move forward always extra attention to detail with everything we do um, so I feel that we're connecting with um, all of the you know participants in this activity and that they're really, you know, we're really getting through to them, and so therefore we get better performance from them, and I, I think it's looking to be a great season for us. I, I do too. I mean, like I said, and I, I, I talked earlier about, you know, because uh, my office is over here, I get to listen to y'all practice every morning, and um, I think it's dark when y'all start rolling out there, but that's just, that's a lot of dedication and commitment, and, uh, you know, we're so proud of y'all and, and, and everything that, that, uh, that our band is doing, um, and so, how long have you been? I know you probably started band early. How long have you been? Um, what instrument did you play? I know you're uh, you know, up there as a drum major now, but wh where did you start and how long have you been doing it? Um, so I started band in the sixth grade as well. Yeah. Um, so this is my... Shout out sixth grade band. This is my sixth year in band, I think. Yep. Um, I'm a horn player. I'm a French horn player. Okay. Um, that's my home instrument. I also do trumpet for the jazz band. But my, my main instrument is the mellophone section, the French horn section, so shout out to them. Yes, there. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, and I mean, y'all are so talented and sound, you know, sound great, not just at the games, but you know, I mentioned the floor show. And so, man, it's kind of a year round project. You know, we have, um, you know, our fall marching competition coming up. And so um, I know that's an exciting time. And then in the spring, we kind of move into, you know, what, what is more of the competition like in the, in the spring? So during the springtime, we have our, so UIL for marching bands is divided into two sections. We have the fall, we have the marching contest. Um, and then for the springtime, we have the concert and sight reading. So what that means, our concert, we prepare three pieces, normally a slow piece, a fast piece, and then a march, like a traditional march. Um, and then there's a sight reading portion. So we go into a room and we're all given seven minutes with our director in silence to kind of alert, read through a piece without playing the instrument. Then after seven minutes, we all get to play one warm-up note, and then we start playing um, the entire song and get rated that way. Wow, that's that's amazing. That must be kind of nerve-wracking. You know, you got a time uh, crunch and trying to do it, but um, uh, that's fun. And um, now, does everybody still blow out the spit things? Is that like a thing that we? Um, I don't, I'm just saying. I've, I've seen some man competitions. I just anyway, just a fun thing that I remember about it. Uh, 
What? <laughs> we can edit that out too. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. But it is funny, right? They do that, right? Okay. He may not edit it out. I'm just saying. But anyway, it's a funny thing to me. Um, no, okay. Let's roll. Um, all right. Besides band, let's talk about some other things that Sebastian is great at. Um, what is your favorite class or favorite teacher? Uh, well, I, I can't really narrow it down to one, but I say my favorite teachers are um, Mr. Cronky, Mr. Pitts, and then our uh, culinary arts teacher, Lucas Kowski, who helps out with um, the solar car program. So shout out to them three. They've definitely made an impact on my work ethic and my life. Oh, they have. I mean, and, and those are all other extracurricular. So let's kind of take a rundown then of what all extracurricular things. You already said, you know, we got solar car and that. So what all programs are, you know, are you involved with or have you been with? So I'm in band uh, solar car and then I also do Suzuki strings. This is going to be my, uh, I think, seventh year doing the program with them. Um, I just recently joined the Palace program, um, got inducted into the NHS program. And then I'm also a president for our key club. That's community service there, a lot of- Yes, oh, it's great, absolutely. And it's definitely a great experience too. So Sebastian is never at home. Um, he is actually doing something every night of the week with the school, uh, uh, that is so great. You know, we, we, I love that about Greenville. I love that our kids get to participate in so many different things and, and we have so many teachers doing uh, great things with our students. And so if you ever have any free time, um, what's your hangout spot or your favorite spot? If you're gonna go to Greenville and, and go out to eat or something, where's your spot? I think if I'm gonna go, go out to eat and I want a good burger, I'm gonna go to Terry's place. Oh, Terry's is a really, that's a good local shout out right there. Me and Miss Duke enjoy Terry's ourselves. Um, and so uh, that's great. So last question, I'd like to finish it up. Are you a high fiver or a fist bumper? Oh, high fiver, I like that. You see Sebastian because he's doing everything. He's involved with everything at school. You'll see him just about everywhere or perhaps out at Terry's getting a burger. You give him a high five. Hi, welcome back uh, Lion fans. And uh, thanks again to Juice for always uh, supporting all of our programs. And you know, it wouldn't be Friday Night Lights without our cheerleaders down there, getting the team going, getting the fans going. And so I'm here with another great senior and one of our cheerleaders. And Hallie, I'll let you introduce yourself to our Lion family. Hi, I'm Hallie Mason. I'm a senior and I've been a part of cheer for four years throughout the high school. Throughout high school, probably middle school as well. I've oh, been doing it forever. I've been watching y'all um, do that for a long time. And so um, not just cheer, you're also um, softball. I believe softballer and so doing a lot of things. And you know, again, that's what I like to talk about in Greenville is our kids have done so many uh, different activities. Um, before I get into cheer, um, do you know who was the greatest, your greatest fourth grade basketball coach of all time? Um, it had to have been Coach Duke. I mean, I'm telling you right now, we were amazing. We had a great team at the YMCA. And um, you know, uh, like I said, and uh, I think, did I run you right out of basketball into cheerleading? No, I'm sorry, I, I just, anyway. But um, anyway, so I mean, you've played volleyball, you've done all these different things coming up. And so, um, now what about cheer? I know you've been with the school forever, but um, were you cheerleading in Pee Wee or with, with Jim? And well, how long do you think you've been doing it? Um, I've been in cheer for as long as I can remember. We did lots of like, you know, like the Pee Wee football games. And oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good. Getting a start like like a lot like a lot of our um, you know kids here in Greenville do. Getting a start with Greenville Youth Sports. Well, thanks for all that y'all do for our kids and um, and so okay. Other than cheer and, and all of those things, um, you know, what are your? I know you seniors got a lot of you know it's a big year though. But what about your graduation plans? Do you have any definite college plans or anything after graduation yet? Yes, yeah, so I've applied to five different schools. I'm still a little indecisive on which one I want to go to, but I'm planning to go into nursing. Oh, good. I want to be a neonatal nurse. Good for you. That's outstanding. I mean, that's there we go. See, there's involved in cheer, involved in all these things, and, and now going and getting out in the medical field. And um, and so that is, that is great. You know, again, I feel like I've watched y'all just about your whole lives, you know, as I've got kids y'all's age, and so it's been fun to, you know, to watch y'all and, and all the things that you do. And so, um, what else are you involved in? Maybe outside of school, uh, what kind of other activities or things are you involved with? So I'm an FFA, so we actually do a lot. We do a lot in school, but we do a lot out of school as well. So like showing, like last year I showed rabbits. So it took up a lot of time outside of school. 
you know, that's a country thing that you may not hear everywhere where you're involved in cheer, going into medicine, and also showed rabbits in ag and what out. That's just great. That's another great thing. Shout out to uh, Ms. Thompson and our great ag program here. They sure are. So what about another teacher? I know we gave Ms. Thompson a shout out, but what about another class or teacher or, or group that, uh, that you enjoy? So I recently joined PALS. Oh, okay. First year, but I really love Ms. Austin. Um, she's been a great uh, teacher along with like a mentor. She's helped the whole class, not just me in general, but we've really got to open up and I'm excited for that. She really does. It's kind of PALS, you know, it's a, it's a leadership group and um, Y'all will, I believe you go to the elementary some or in a... In um, so starting in October, every morning we'll go there and we'll have a buddy. So that's where we'll spend our first period of... The Outstanding. And so, um, so if you're not being in pals, you're not being buddies, we're not cheering, we're doing all these things. Um, and so, you know, I always like to know what's your favorite place in Greenville? If you're going to go eat or, or go hang out in Greenville. Probably Shoguns. Oh, Shoguns. Well, there you go. Well, you better get into medicine right then if you're going to be. I love Shoguns. It's great. I love it, right? Did they make the little fire thing in the onion rings? Or Well, that's my favorite part, too. So I would go there just for that. So uh, shout out to Shoguns. Thing. That's a great place to be. And so, well, Miss Mason, last question then. Are you a fist bumper or a high fiver? A high fiver. Oh, I'm a high fiver, too. If you see Hallie out at Shoguns, don't touch the burning... Uh, you know, uh, thing there, but um, show guns or cheering or anywhere, getting the crowd going, give her a high five, she's a great young lady. Imagine the impact a little spare change can make to a family in need. If we all pitch in a few dimes, quarters, and pennies each month to the Juice Roundup program, Together, we can help people in our community. Make a difference. Juice Roundup Program. Sign up now at juice.org. Hey, I'm Coach Duke here, and I get to really a uh, treat for you right now. Another one of our great seniors involved in a lot of things, but right now recognizing her uh, as a cheerleader, um, and so, introduce yourself to our Lion fans. Hi, I'm Lainey, I'm a senior, and I've been in cheer since middle school. Been in cheer since middle school, you're um, involved in, just give us a rundown, it's a lot of stuff. So what all other things you doing just this year? I'm in student council, okay. NHS, and FFA. Okay, and that's, you know, like I said, that's busy. That's a lot of really good service organization. That's really good. And so, um, as a senior, what about your college plans? Are you decided yet? Just looking? I've applied to a few different colleges, and I want to go to be an x ray technician. Oh, very good. That's right. Very good. That's a high demand uh, job right there. That's what you do get out there and, and make that money and, and represent Green Wars. You know, I mean, I, I've, I'm always so excited to see y'all go and, and go out there and do your thing. And so, um, always come back for homecoming though, so don't forget that. We always want y'all to come back, but you know, man, uh, you know, I love the games. I love the cheerleaders. You're over there. You're, um, you know, getting the crowd going, doing all those things. So are you a tumbler, a flyer? Uh, what, you know I mean? What all do y'all, you know, what do you do and what all do y'all do? So. Are those the good terms? That was pretty good for a football coach. Right, look at there. Well, I'm kind of taller in our like squad, so I have to be a back spot so that I can lift her up. Very good, and it is important. I know we just, uh, uh, we had a cheerleader accident just recently, kind of in the Metroplex, and so, you know, I thought she's definitely going out, but, but yeah, back spotting, I mean, it's, it's a, you know, there are some dangerous things, and I know, how high do we stack when y'all are really high, what's the highest? Are we three high, or are we two people and one on shoulders? I mean, all that, I mean, it's, like I said, it's crazy. I mean, like I say, when y'all make your, your pyramids and those things, I mean, it's really, uh, you know, there's a lot that goes on, and, um, you know, y'all have already done camps. You've been practicing, I know, already before um, before school started. So, uh, you know, it's just a lot of work that goes into it. Um, so outside of all these other extracurricular activities, you've got things going on, but what about, uh, what about another class, you know, or your favorite teacher or class that you're doing? I really like Ms. Thompson. Oh, Ms. Thompson, shout out. Great uh, with the Ag depo uh, Department and everything that, that she does uh, with the school. I know she's super involved. Um, that's something you've been, I know, a part of for a long time. So um, that's great. 
Shout out to your dad, fireman, one of our first responders here in Greenville. And so, any plans uh, to be the next fireman or? <laughs> no, no, okay, we're definitely gonna go a different direction. That's, you know, and so, uh, but no, that's good. Uh, you know, again, it's something I love about the community. You know, I get to know uh, so many different kids and, and their families, and uh, you know, it's really a close knit community. And sometimes in the middle of our show, things will fall off. That's how exciting the show really is, y'all. It, it just, um, you know, we got a lot of energy going here, and so sometimes our signs fall off the wall. But um, all right, so last thing, if if Laney, if you're out going out in Greenville, you want to go eat, um, where's your favorite spot? Shoguns. Shoguns, it is. Okay, I've got two for Shoguns right now. Expensive taste, but man, it really is. If you go at lunch, though, it's really a pretty good deal, right? See, that's the thing. But you don't go at lunch. You're supposed to be at school. So she never goes at lunch. So they're talking about on the weekends. But that is awesome. Um, so proud of all y'all and, and, you know, been watching y'all, you know, coming up all the way since middle school and so excited to see where you're headed. And so um, if you see Hallie out, uh -uh, I said Hallie again because you said Hallie. If you see Laney out again in the community, we may need to start this whole section over. Um, if you see her out in the community, are you a fist bumper or a high fiver? High five. She's definitely a high fiver. Shoguns, cheering, you give her a high five, great young lady. Hi, right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner here and uh, working our way through all of our extracurricular activities and thanks to Juice for allowing us to spotlight and highlight all of our programs and kids here um, at GHS. And so, uh, well, it is fall and so it must be football season. And so we're uh, just getting our season started. Um, had a tough one last week, took a loss, um, but you know, we're gonna bounce back and get better. That's why we're playing good teams every week. And so, um, you know, we started a, a new thing this year, and so congratulations. This is uh, Micah Simpson. He is our Penny Perkins State Farm Offensive Player of the Week. Um, and so, Micah, give a shout out to your family, anybody out there that's, that's watching. Uh, shout out to my mom, my daddy, my sister, my homeboy. I'm doing this for y'all. And that's a lot. If you were going to shout out to everybody that you were, are related to in Greenville, we would be here for a while. I know your family is, you know what I mean? And so, um, and you got a lot of support at the games. We hear them there. And so, um, man, we had an, uh, you know, uh, an electric kickoff return for a touchdown the other night. You were, I believe, our leading receiver and um, uh, had some yards rushing. And so, you know, offensively, we got a little work to do, though. But um, just as far as you, you know, man, you have played quarterback, you played receiver, you run with the ball, you play in the secondary, you return kicks. And so, is there a favorite part or what's your favorite part of the game? My favorite part of the game is really receiver. Okay. I really can do anything. Yeah, we've seen you do everything. When you get the ball in your hands, you can do some things, that's for sure. But uh, receiving, you know, getting the ball in space, using, uh, using your quickness, all those things, uh, you know, you're really shining. Um, and so, you know, we're looking forward to a great season. Again, you know, we started off with a loss, but, uh, you know, we got our home opener this Friday. Uh, we're going to be back out there, back to work. And so um, just as far as, like, individually as a team, where do you, what do we need to work on? What do we need to kind of just focus and, and get better in, in some areas? Uh, I think offense, this is like, we need to play faster, faster pace, doing everything fast. On defense, I think we need to work on our tackle. Yeah, that's the thing. Yep. Grab, take them to the ground. And, you know, and again, we got a lot of, you know, have a lot of new bodies in positions that kind of happens, um, you know, in high school football, you know, you, you kind of reload every year. And so, you know, we're trying to fit those pieces together. And so we're really looking for, you know, just a little more consistency. We showed that we can make those big plays. And so, uh, you know, getting a few more pieces just in the right uh, positions, um, I think is going to give us an opportunity to shine a little more. And again, uh, we got you out there running the ball, catching the ball, defense. You know, we want to get the hands in uh, our ball in the hands of our playmakers. Mike is certainly one of them. Um, speaking of being a playmaker, what about your college plans? And I know you're kind of looking, but um, anything, you know, the way that you're leaning or as far as you're recruiting yet? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Still open right now. I know there's a lot of colleges that are, that are looking at you and, and kind of watching you. And so those offers are going to come rolling in. but. Not just a footballer though, that's the what else? What all do you what all do you play? What all are you gonna be doing this year? I play basketball and I run track. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing basketball and I'm gonna be running track too. That's all year long. That's athletes, that's that's what athletes do. Um, and, and 
you know, and that's what we like about Greenville, you know, that I, we get to watch our students, get to watch our kids do all these things and, and represent the school. And, um, and so outside of athletics, Dan, I know you're involved in everything, but um, let's give a shout out. What's your favorite class or favorite teacher right now? Uh, my favorite teacher right now is, who is my favorite teacher? Probably yeah. Mr. Pitts. My engineering class, Mr. Pete. Well, see, there you go. Now, see, not just a football player, not just a basketball player, but also an uh, engineering student and all that. That's what I like about all of our extracurricular students. Um, you know, they're, they're students first, and we're proud of that. And if you're going to go to the next level, you got to. you got to take care of your grades, and, and that's one thing that, that we know Micah has always done. And so, uh, man, we're looking forward to your future, not just this season, but on as you continue at the next level. And so, um, what about outside of school? So if Micah's going, if you're going to be hanging out or you're going to go eat somewhere in Greenville, where are we going to see Micah? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A right there. McDonald's. Well, see, there you go. See, now there you It just depends on what kind of mood you're in. Miss Duke loves Chick-fil-A. I mean, I, I feel like we go there all the time. And so, um, Micah, fist bump or high five? Uh, high five. High five it is, right? If you see Micah out here, and you better catch him because he's going to be moving fast. But at Chick-fil-A or McDonald's, on the football field, in the basketball court, on the track, in the classroom, give him a high five. He's a great young man. Sign up to participate in Juice's Roundup program and help people in our community in need. If your bill is $105.48, Juice will round up to the nearest dollar, making your overall bill $106 even. Individual customers donate between $0.01 cent and $0.99 cents per month. When we all give, it turns small change each month into a big community impact. The average customer would just give $6 per year, never more than $11.88 per year. Juice Roundup program can make the difference in the lives around you. Sign up now. All right, welcome back to Coach's Corner. And again, following up with a new thing that we're doing this year, um, the Penny Perkins State Farm Defensive Player of the Week this week is senior Kevin Tran. Congratulations, number 21 in the program, and number one in our hearts. Kevin, um, you know, uh, just talk about like what position you play and how long you've been playing football. Uh, I play the safety position, usually the roll down. So strong safety. I've been playing football since seventh grade. Good, yeah, and, 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 and a little bit of running back. I know obviously, you know, coming up in middle school and sub varsity, y'all play both positions. And so Kevin's done a little bit of everything, play on special teams. Um, and so, you know, we try to get our athletes in position and, uh, you know, to uh, on the field in multiple positions to, to help us. And so um, we had a tough one in the first game, you know, came up short. Um, uh, you know, they were, you know, they were they were a good team, and, and so we know that that's what we've got to play against to be ready for our season. But uh, we got our home opener coming up this Friday, and so uh, we're looking to get back on track. And so, what things just you know just kind of general things are are you know are are you looking forward to working on and, and us getting better? You know, what what areas do we need to work on? Well, I feel like we did a pretty solid job, but did we, there's always room to improve. I feel like sure, we work better with our tackling, coverage, everything could be better. We did, and like I said, you know, defensively is so hard. Uh, you know, I, I talk about it sometimes on offense. You get three downs to kind of hopefully, you know, get a first down. But defensively, if you have one bad play, the other team scores. Uh, and so, uh, you know, we had a blown coverage. You know, we're going to work on, you know, our tackling. Those are things that, you know, that just early in the season take a while to develop. And um, but, you know, I, I think that after we looked at the video, we we know that we are capable. We saw big plays. We saw great defensive plays. Um, you know, and the effort was there, all those things. And so we're going to, you know, hopefully just clean up. Yeah, I looked up one time we had seven defensive players that it was their first time playing varsity football. Um, and so for us to, you know, hold in the game and, and battle the way we did, I, I think it's going to pay off uh, for us this season. So we're looking forward to, you know, bouncing back this week and getting going. Um, what other things, Kevin, not just football, what other things um, in school or school activities are you involved with? Um, I, I'm in the EMT class. I'm working to train to be an EMT. Uh, we'll Good. Uh, what about what about college? I know you you know talking about being an EMT. That's a pretty good career move. But I mean, are you wanting to get into that full time? Are you planning on college, or what do you think? 
I was, I was actually thinking the military, actually. Oh, good, man. Congratulations. That's it. I mean, you know, whichever decision you make, they're going to be getting a great kid that's going to be successful at everything. And so, uh, you know, a lot of decisions to make this senior year. And, and uh, you know, that's what I love about being able to watch y'all and see you kind of grow and make those decisions. And then I can't wait to see uh, where you end up. You're going to be good everywhere, anywhere that you go. Um, what about, you know, academically, what are some of your, maybe your favorite teacher or favorite class this year? Favorite teacher? Got to be you, sir. Thanks right there. That's how you get to be a defensive player of the week right there, when you say that it's Coach Duke. And believe me, there's a lot of people in Greenville that would say that same thing from sitting in science class. Um, but no, Kevin, I mean, I see, see the personality coming through. It's what we like about him um, and, and just a great kid. Uh, what about hanging out in Greenville, going out to eat? Where would be, uh, where would Kevin be? Where would I be? Um, probably somewhere with chicken. Somewhere with chicken, <laughs> that'd be good. So if you're out anywhere in Greenville and you see Kevin with some chicken hanging out, ask him about being an EMT, ask him about football or his college plans or his, uh, I'm sorry, his military plans, all the great things that he's got going on. Um, so last thing that we wrap up with here, um, with our coach's corner, um, high five or fist bump? Fist bump. Definitely a fist bump. And if y'all see Kevin out in the community, he's a great young man, great leader on our team, and make sure you give him a fist bump. This video has been brought to you by Juice 34. Juice is your community-owned provider for electric, internet, cable TV, and true local programming.